Yo, yo, we are back in our FX. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get the super smooth music for your transition. You can call it a opacity fade transition or some shit like that, but it looks super, super smooth. So let me show you how to get that. So in my timeline, I have these two clips right here, which we're gonna add the transition on. So firstly, what we're gonna do is start by duplicating our first clip and go over to the last frame. Make sure you're in the last frame right here. And then right click on there, go over to time and where it says freeze frame. Just freeze frame it then put this freeze frame over both of your clips then just extend the freeze frame so it lasts on the another clip so at the top of another clip so not. so exactly at the top of this right here then firstly in here we simply gonna add a opacity keyframe so hit t on your keyboard and hit the stopwatch in opacity firstly go over a few frames and lower it down to zero maybe something like this as you can see maybe it's too low for me so Let's just make it a little faster right there so to start off we have a simple fade right there so what you can do now what we can do is hide this freeze frame and bring up the scale by hitting s and hit the stopwatch in the scale put it a bit further so around like here and then just bring up the scale to around like 200 or something right there then you can easy use those keyframes go into graph and make sure you're in value graph and make a graph like this something like this in here so it looks real smooth right there yeah something right there as you can see then after this zoom on your actual clip if we play it through you, you can see we already have the transition looking pretty smooth right there but we gonna add a zoom onto this freeze frame as well so hit the stop button in the freeze frame go over and just scale it in not as much as your actual keyframe but the scale in a little bit and then just like easy ease those go into graph and in value graph just make a graph like this graph something like this and then you can enable the motion blur then you can see we have a super smooth effect like this maybe you can extend the keyframe one frame forward so something like there and yeah after that we have a base going on in our effect now to finish it off we're gonna add some wheel into this so for that i'll be adding an adjustment layer and i'll be using my preset pack for that of course so i'll be using essential effects so i'm gonna open up user presets in essential effects i'm gonna use the effect call what you can say the hard wiggle two right here and then just trim it at the beginning and now if we play it through you can see we have a super smooth wiggle going on right there with it so that's exactly what we want it adds a lot of impact so if you want to take this pack out i'll link it in the description it's super super insane but yeah that looks super dope then what you can do is select the freeze frame and add a hue and saturation and lower down the saturation actually and what we can do is select your actual footage the footage that's playing on your background and add like a hue and saturation in there and the stop was in color range and in the beginning just slow it down to zero so it like starts off like desaturated and goes into the actual footage right there and lastly in your freeze frame you can add like a minimax and hit the stop was in the radius go a little further and bring it up so now after you play that you can see it looks even smoother with the minimax so yeah if you want to create this wiggle yourself it is mostly sapphire board bubble and some distort chroma in here but in my preset pack it comes like pre-build so that's really cool and in essential fx v2 we got a lot of presets like this around like 40 plus presets which are all drag and drop and super easy to use and it is one of the best music video preset pack out right now so yeah so yeah check it out if you want to save time and want to make more money but anyways getting back into the effect you can pick up all of these and going to please comp uh, what i like to do in this freeze frame is add something like a glow in there so for me i'll be using an optical glow you can use any glow that you like but for me i'll be specifically using optical glow and in optical glow firstly bring up the highlights only so it only like affects the highlights and bring up the size and lower down the amount so we have this super cool glow going on right here and then if we go back you can see after that glow that looks insanely more smoother and now to finish it all off i'll add another adjustment layer and in here i'll be using my essential effects again to add framer 4 i like to use this before any kind of transition it's add some like framer effects in here so if you play through it is like three frame effect and goes into the actual effect so that's real cool of a frame right there but yeah with that our final transition looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and i'ma see you on the next one peace